Hi, welcome to the channel. As always, my name is Jamison. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Great to have you. Today, we'll be doing a tips, tricks, and how-to episode for, you guessed it, Graveyard Keeper. In this one, I'm going to go over the, the magnificent and, and slightly bewildering art of uh, making zombie juice. To do this, you have to have a few on technologies unlocked. Uh, first is the beginning of alchemy, which is here, as I have. And then you need to unlock the first slice and soft spares for anatomy. And then, this goes into it, you need the ingredients. Which is uh, health powder and blood. Blood, you know where to get blood, everyone knows to get blood. As for our health powder, you create it from either using crop waste, cabbage or pumpkin. I'm just going to buy some crop waste here from the farmer and show you how to do that. Also, guys, it should go without saying, uh, the alchemy bench, if you've already unlocked the tech or started that tree, you know it's located in the church basement, so have the church basement unlocked. And as for how I've gone about getting the stuff to make the health better, you obviously can do that in your garden, but that's that's an extra step of unlocking. You just want to go straight to it as fast and simple as possible. Unlock your church, go to the farmer, buy the stuff you need, come down into your basement, like so. Build these two benches. Yeah, alchemy mill, where you take your crop waste, after studying it, I believe. I can't remember if I studied it, yes. You have to study it, I think. And then, like so, you create your health powder. And then you come over here to your alchemy bench, and you go, blood. And then, uh, what have I done? And then you... I believe it didn't let me do that because I've already done it. And initially, oh sorry, I'm having a moment with the buttons. Anyway, when you're first doing it, see how I crafted it? I'm out of blood, but when you craft it normally, you fill the health powder and that other ingredient. It'll give you a crafting box with a question mark because it won't know what you're creating. And you create it, and once you have created it, it will appear as a permanent recipe. And if you're wondering how I knew to use health powder and blood, look, health powder's vague. you got to trial and error if you're not going to look up what it is. But as for the blood, Gunther tells you. And you obviously know who Gunther is because you're on zombies. You just go and ask him what the ingredients are. He tells you blood and some kind of powder. And it's just trial and error if you want to do it the long way. But that is how you do it. And, yeah, hope this helped you guys. I know I was quite confused with how to do it from the get-go, and it took, a, took me trial and error so many times to do it. So I hope this video helps you. And that's where we'll call it for today. If you liked it, like it. If you don't, dislike it. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed and you want to see more of this stuff, uh, hit that subscribe button. It'd really help me out. Uh, all right. Once again, my name is Jamison. I'll see you all in the next episode.